The world's first 16 megawatts wind turbine was recently installed in an offshore wind farm in China. On average, it can generate 64 million kilowatt hours each year, and it can meet the annual demands of 36,000 households of three each year. The turbine has a rotor diameter of 252 meters with a swept area of almost 50,000 square meters. To put into size comparison, this is almost equivalent to seven football fields. In this video, we'll take you behind the scenes to see how the turbine blades are made, how they're carefully moved to the site, and the incredible process of putting up this massive turbine. Let's start the journey with the blade manufacturing. Wind turbine blades are the primary components that convert wind into electricity. This isn't a process that happens overnight. From initial drawings to tangible reality, the first blade alone undergoes five major processes, involving hundreds of smaller steps, taking a remarkable 22 days to complete. A mold is made based on the blade's design. It's a precise, hollow shape that the blade will take as it's formed. The blade mold spans a staggering 130 meters in length, with a maximum width exceeding 6 meters covering an area exceeding 1,100 square meters. Suitable materials, often composite materials like fiberglass or carbon fiber, are chosen for their strength and light weight. These materials are prepared in sheets or rolls. Multiple layers of the chosen composite materials are carefully laid in the mold. Through a vacuum infusion process, resin is applied to bond the layers together, creating a strong, rigid structure Using special adhesives, carbon web shear is attached to one of the shells of the blade. This provides stiffness and stability to the blade structure. Finally, the two shells of the blade are joined together through a clamping process ensuring its alignment, clearance, and design standards to form a complete blade. This blade, proudly designed by Goldwind, stretches an impressive 123 meters in length and boasts a diameter of 252 meters. Its unique design, featuring a blunt trailing edge, delays flow separation and enhances blade lift, optimizing power generation performance. Goldwind's proprietary thick airfoil design, free from conventional differential airfoils, ensures structural integrity, leading to higher unit reliability. With independent intellectual property rights, this new airfoil offers high lift, stability, and adaptability to power requirements ranging from 12 megawatts to 17 megawatts or more. But this innovation doesn't stop there. Carbon fiber beams reduce the blade's weight by over 20%, easing the challenges of hoisting and installation. They're designed to withstand the fiercest typhoons, enduring once in a 50-year ultimate wind limits. These sweeping, flexible blades make clever use of bending and torsional coupling effects, reducing the blade root's ultimate load by 3%. After blade manufacturing, the 123-meter long blades are transported to the offshore site. Wind turbine blades are typically transported using specialized flatbed trucks or trailers carefully navigating highways and roads to reach their intended destinations, often requiring road closures and logistical planning to accommodate their extraordinary length.
Transporting wind turbine blades to offshore sites is a complex logistical feat, often involving specially designed cargo ships equipped with cranes to load and secure the enormous blades. Now, let's shift our focus to the heart and soul of this turbine unit, the nacelle. The transportation of wind turbine nacelles, which house critical components like the generator and gearbox, typically involves heavy-duty trucks or multi-axle trailers, as they can weigh several tons. The nacelle of this mega turbine, with an astonishing weight of 410 tons, encompasses thousands of components, equivalent to the combined weight of over 260 family cars. Wind turbine blades, the nacelle, and the hoisting tower have arrived at the offshore wind farm installation site near Fujian, marking the completion of preparations for the installation process. Introducing Baiheaton, a state-of-the-art platform for installing wind turbines at sea. With a massive 2,000-ton lifting capacity and the ability to work in waters as deep as 70 meters, it's perfect for building offshore wind farms. The 16 megawatts offshore wind turbine, while ensuring optimal power generation, has successfully reduced the generator's weight by approximately 20 tons, marking a significant leap forward in the miniaturization of high-capacity motors. precision engineering at its best, as 176 sets of bolts and hub threading are skillfully put together at a stunning height of 152 meters. By adding a smart digital system, this unit becomes more adaptable to different environments making it a great fit for China's southeastern coast. And with offshore wind turbines now reaching up to 16 megawatts, we're entering an exciting era of wind energy that's more efficient and economically promising. To wrap up, the installation of this 16 megawatts offshore wind turbine signifies a remarkable stride in clean energy technology. It showcases human innovation, pushing the limits of what we can achieve and getting us closer to a sustainable future. As we harness the wind's power, we're not only generating electricity, we're also generating hope for a brighter, greener tomorrow.